Satan. By 1912, who had more control over America? Who had control? Was it the government? Or was it the corporation? Was it the big businesses? Now your posters are around the room, as you can see. So first thing I want you to do is discuss it. Who had more control? Was the government in control of America or were the big corporations and businesses? Discuss it. If after a minute you guys are still stuck, send one group member to walk around the room and look at the posters that you created to help refresh your memory. So you got one minute. What I want you to do is turn to your partner and say, hey, this is what I think. Listen, let the other person speak, and then we'll go from there. Okay, and it's up. If you need it more, if you are still not sure, get up, walk around, look at what you guys created yesterday. You look at what you, if you still need to refresh your mind about some of the topics, you can use the work around the room to guide you. Alright, so you're in the writing piece right now. Okay. Once you're done discussing, now write down your thoughts. Once you're done the discussion, you got your thoughts written down? Okay, you have a minute for this piece? Ten more seconds. And, okay, you're going to stop right now. What I'm going to ask you to do is Horace, Jamal, Sienna, Natalia, Patrick, Shamar, Andrew, Christelle, Vince, Kayalia, Killy, Jonathan, Monet, Jessica, Marie, and Kadeem, Hillary, Rashawn, and Brianna, and Kelvin. Go to those people, um, and what I want you to do is discuss what you discuss in your group, and see if you guys are in agreement. Now you're, just, you're taking your answers, you share them, you're, you go to them, and now the piece is, who is now, discuss the answer, you discuss with your partner. So,
All right, so we have new formations and groups, new ideas coming out. Uh, I'm going to go with Jonathan Keeley. Now, Keeley, what did you bring to the table? By 1912. All right, so you're saying by 1912 after all things. Okay, so you're still saying corporations are still in trouble. All right, I'm hearing Amir Kadim over here now. Were you in agreement with this, or are you, are you challenging this? Challenging. Oh, what? Challenging. Very um, I said the government had no control because if they felt something was wrong, they, they, they had to try to fix it. All right, so there's the government, there's the government now. That's what I'm hearing. Of course, you want to throw your hat in the mix. Yeah. I highly disagree with that because the government wasn't really doing anything until the people were speaking their voice. And if you really look back, it was the big corporation that had the most power because they were using their money to influence them. And if you even look at the do now, you can see the state of oil was taking control of the government influence to do what they wanted to do. But at the end of the day, who was making that change? The government. You, okay. said, you, said, you said people were making that change to the government. But at the end of the day, the government made that change, not the people. Point well taken. All right, so so I, I'm hearing the government seems to be winning this conversation. And uh, I got, you know, Sam, you can all be quiet. You can all be quiet. Sam, where do you throw your hat in this? Whose side would you, whose side do you agree with? And why? Where, where are you at? Um, I said the government. Because, like, even though that the corporations, they did look like they had the power at one point, like the government, they kind of came out of nowhere and they asserted their power. They always had the opportunity to do that. It's because they were benefiting off of the corporations while they never did in the first place. Okay. Oh, well, I, I hear a challenge. I'm seeing a challenge. All right. I disagree. The government was funded through corrupted money, right? By corporations. Oh, we did that. <laughs> How does, first of all, if you're corrupted, would you still like you to be influenced by you or have any dealings with you? Well, they realized that, like, they realized that they were getting, um, well, founded out. They had the muckrakers coming after them. They had the people taking unions. So the government had to look like they were playing a part. Like, <laughs> they wouldn't sit there and keep doing that if they know the people are going to start getting against them. All right, so you're telling, from what I'm hearing you say, you're telling me it's a ploy. It's just this image, it's smoking mirrors. That then, no matter what the government's doing, the corporations are going to still be in control. <laughs> control. That's what I'm saying. No, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So refresh, clarify. Not that the corporations are in control, but like um, that the government don't want to do nothing to help. They have the power to help, but they don't want to because, like Andrew said, they're getting the corrupted money, and they're going to want it. But if the people see that they're getting the corrupted money and see that they're not trying to help, they're going to be against the government and they're going to try to overthrow or anything. So they're going to make the people see that they're trying to help them and they're going to keep with the corrupted money. So basically you're saying government is too face. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, one last person just to summarize and to, to pretty much put us where... Uh, to give us their final thoughts, Brianna. Your final thoughts on this. Corporation, government, where are you in this? <coughs> I'm still going with the government. Because like what Kadeem said, yeah, the people may have put their ideas out there, but it takes the government to actually say, okay, we agree with you. All right, we're going to make this change. But if we disagree with you, it's not going to happen. Uh, now we, we do have to transition. She was our final person. Now we're going to slide into women's suffrage. Women's suffrage. And the, the question I want you to think about is why are women, why were women denied the right to vote? Just think about that for a second. Why, what, why are women going to be denied the right to vote? What is to be gained? Who's going to gain it? And why, why are they going to be denied the right to vote? And who has, who's going to gain off of denying women the right to vote? So who has something to gain off this? Take a moment and think about that. Why are women denied the right to vote? Who has something to gain about that? So think about that for about 15 seconds, and then I want you to turn to your partner and figure out, okay, women are going to be denied what? Think for Sarah is teaching me how to make a movie with subtitles. Right, Sarah? I'm not sure if this has subtitles.
You gotta go over here. I got it. If you feel that the petition was the most important method, then that, that petition number two, document two, you're gonna go over here. And if you feel the speech was the most important, you're gonna go over here at three. <laughs> And uh, there should be no one who's not sure. Alright, so. Wow! Okay, document two. So document one, document two, document three. That's, that's alright, we got ourselves a little confused. I get myself confused all the time. It's no big deal. All right. So, here, whoops. Uh, all right, we're all set up now. Okay. So, my speech people. Wait, you're not sure where you are? I'm going to switch sides. Well, okay, you're going to switch sides. Okay. So, you guys got one minute. All right. You're going to nominate one person. All right, Shamar's the team leader here. All right, you're gonna nominate one person, and then you guys are gonna coach that one person and be like, okay, this is why our, why we're the best. This is why the best. Because you want to bring these three to your side. All right, over here, Brianna, you're your team captain here. You're gonna to get together, you're gonna to nominate who's the speaker. You're gonna make sure they have their information, and they're gonna bring you guys. Like you're, you're trying to bring them over here. Okay, now their goal is to convince you guys to join their side. What are they're here so so you can ask them questions and things like that. Alright, so this looks the best one. Well, you know, you're gonna they're gonna come out here and they're gonna give you this is why you need to join us. This is why this is the best person. What? Yeah, one person. Thank you. 